Hey, I'm Chad with Man Crafting. Today, I'm going to teach you how to remove mill scale from steel that's been processed. Okay, so in order to do this project, you're gonna need some muriatic acid. I'm using a five gallon bucket, a two gallon bucket, a second five gallon bucket, you need a drill bit. Of course, you wanna make sure you have your safety equipment. We got your uh, chemical resistant, resistant gloves and some eye protection. Oh, and one last piece of safety equipment. Make sure you have some baking soda when you're working with muriatic acid. It will neutralize it. So what do I mean by mill, mill scale? If you look here, I've got basically a, a clean steel that came in from the steel. This is a really heavily mill scaled, and this is after I've ground at it for probably five or 10 minutes. So I wanna get this to look similar to this, so when I do sand it, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. Next thing you'll do is add the muriatic acid to the mix and we're going to leave this in for about 13 to 15 minutes. As you can see the muriatic acid is putting off some gases. Make sure you're wearing a respirator during this time. At the very least cover the bucket. There are a lot of muriatic acid gases going into the air and if you inhale this it is going to be a world of hurt. I'm removing the discs from the muriatic acid and I'm waiting till the muriatic acid is completely drained from the two gallon bucket. I'm now, as you can see, placing it in the water to wash off and neutralize the last of the muriatic acid that may be on any of these plates. And as I pull this plate from the water, you can see that the muriatic acid has completely etched away all of the mill scale. On the other side, you can see the marks, zip ties that I used to separate the plates. I'm not real happy with the zip ties. They did tend to melt a little bit. So you'll see a big black mark where the muriatic acid didn't get to the mill scale. That said, not a big issue. That thin little line is actually pretty easy to sand off. It's when that entire plate is covered in mill scale that you're really gonna have issues. So please comment below if you have any questions, like our video, and please subscribe if you found these videos useful. Thanks for watching.